Hello there, Degogo from My Color Screen here. Today I'm going to show you something pretty unique and pretty cool. It's called Simple Text, and it's basically just a way to put some custom text settings on your phone's home screens or launch applications. So, as you can see here, I've actually got a few that I've made earlier, and you can put them on any home screen you want. And if you're feeling a little bit ambitious, you can even put them on your lock screen if you have something like Widget Locker enabled. So, as I said earlier, you can actually use these simple text icons to launch applications. So I've actually selected an action to launch the Play Store when I've uh, selected that App Store simple text icon there. So I'll show you how to do this in a second. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is go into your widget area and select simple text 2x1. I found 2x1 to work the best. So next we're prompted to select an icon. So let's select it and select from simple text icon instead of image file. And then uh, these are a few that I've made earlier. As you can see, there's some with different text sizes, some with two layers, some with one layer, some with different rotations, and uh, some stuff in the background. So as you can see, a simple text icon is quite flexible in the way you can create things. So let's have a look at what you're greeted with in the interface. We can uh, change the X and Y coordinates, change the X uh, text size, rotation, uh, anti-aliasing, add a gradient or shadow. And uh, it's always best to add a shadow so you can make sure that uh, your text can be seen on white backgrounds. So, uh, let's get started and type something. So I'm going to type in uh, my color screen here for our simple text icon. And as you can see on the right hand side, there's an instant preview of how our icon will look like on our home screen. So if we want, we can move this up or down, or left or right, just depending on how we want it to fit inside that box. So it's best to have this as close as you can to the edges without going over. Uh, when you first start, you'll be greeted with a big block box in the background, so it's best to just choose outline only or none at all, so uh, if you want to shape in the background, it looks better if you have a transparent center, that's what I thought in my opinion anyway. So I've just gone ahead and changed it to a circle, and then I've increased the width to about uh, 24% and added a shadow so it's a bit clearer. So you can do anything you really like, this was just something I thought of on the spot, so we can select our text alignment, either left, center, or right. So I'm just going to leave it as on the left hand side. And we can also select our font. So I thought that default 1, default 4, and default 7 were the best. So I've just selected default 1 here. So you can play around with those and see what you think. So what we have to do is save this style so we don't have to repeat all this work that we've just done. So we can uh, save that style and save the icon so we can use it in this instance. So now we can select an action, so either launch an application or a shortcut to something or just text by itself. So the application we're going to launch is just a randomly colorized widget. It's been a lot of color in this episode. Once we have that, then we have our simple text icon. So we can drag it around anywhere and uh, that's pretty much it. So once you click on it, then it launches colorized widget like we instructed it to. So um, it's pretty cool and um, quite useful. So if you want to create another one and don't want to redo all your work and you kind of want uh, a different style so you have less letters probably inside your simple text um, icon, then you are better off creating different, uh, different styles, so one with less letters than the other. So when you want to create another icon with a similar letter count, you can just reuse that uh, style. So everything kind of is uniform when you have multiple instances of uh, different sized icons if that makes sense. So here we have uh, something that I've done earlier just called music. So that's got a lot less letters than uh, my color screen in full. So say if we were to change it to MCS for my color screen, then it would line up better with the other icons with a similar letter count basically. So as you can see, we can add two lines. Um, I've just written good A on the top. So there you go. You can do that if you like. And, uh, and that just comes in handy when you can't fit everything on one line. So that's how our new icon looks like. So all we have to do is just select OK, and then when we go back we have another icon called G'day MCS. So um, as usual you can move this around to any home screen that you want, so we're just going to put it back on that first one. And if you are not happy with the size of it and you want it to be closer to the edge or something like that, you can actually um, long hold press on it and uh, resize the widget just like any other widget, and then it will move to how you want it to. So. That's basically it guys, hopefully you learned something from this and uh, go nuts, use your, creati use your creativity to come up with whatever you can and I hope to see you again for another video. Thanks for watching.